Hi, this is Disorganized Crafter. I'm coming to you at the iZinc booth by Sep After. So we are seeing him again. And he is demoing the so new product. Uh, the demo I just did before. It started with one layer of paint, and then it went to the pigment inks, and then the, some of the ice. I mean, this was the class sample from yesterday as well. She was in the class. Yes, I was. Um, um, amazing. So, <laughs> to me, um, hey. hello, how are you? How are I love you? when a product can do a lot. I want, I want, a, my, I want my money's worth. Um, and there's so much you can do. So someone in the class yesterday, they took a heat gun to it, <laughs> um, and this is what they made. Um, it's pretty uh, extraordinary. Um, it also is uh, sticky until it dries, so you can use it for inclusions. So you can sprinkle, you can add embossing powder, and then heat it. Um, and then when you do when you do heat it, this is what it looks like. Let me just find <laughs> the, uh, a photo. Um, I should have a sample here, but I don't. Um, I mean, tell me this is not amazing and crazy. Wow. So that's layer, multiple layers of it, heated and more added, and then heated again, and you can see the different colorations with the texture uh, from those underneath. It's pretty awesome, right? You can also make a skins with it, so if you just uh, layer it out with an outline. And that was done by our own Crystal Tisher. So Seth Apter is using her example as what to do with the icing paste, y'all. So that was done by Rustic Ink Angel. Love your It's fun too. Um, <laughs> the only thing I so we have PDF swatch uh, boards that that uh, are blank, so that you can then just swatch across because people really need to see. They need that because I, I know that you look at that on the shelf. The app, it's gonna be brown. Most people are gonna walk away. So <laughs> that's really key. So what one of the things we've done. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> board like this. And you can actually separate this into a lot of categories. So this is smoothed out with a oh, palette okay. knife. This is texture with a palette knife. This is with a baby wipe. This is with a stencil. And you can definitely add, you know, if you heat it, you can add the bubbling of it all. You know, so you can, I mean, it takes a while to do it, but with the little swatch, the PDFs, it's pretty quick. You can just swipe across. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, neat, it's neat stuff. Yeah. I'm really, really happy with it. Yes, we're happy with it. Yeah, you had fun <laughs> yesterday. Yes, fun. we yeah. had a great time that yesterday. Was cool. Yes. Did you want any information or anything I'm like that? Well, I'll bring my partner back. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so, so soon as we can get all this right, door. Yeah, it's early in the show. <laughs> then we can do it. Anyway. I'll be here so. off and on, but that's better than talking to you. Fred <laughs> was here. He's uh, the, 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 the chief. No, so either of the guys will be the chief. So I'll just do that. Okay. Hey, hey we are you? here with Seth. Okay, so I do have an update. Shauna was over the moon. Sweet. <laughs> so I, I got up early this morning and I saw that there were a lot of uh, posts in the group. And yes. I did see, I got an alert that Shauna did post. I don't know what she posted. Uh oh. But um, I just haven't had a chance to check the group. <laughs> check the group out yet. Yeah, he's been yeah. a busy, busy beaver. So busy. I have you live on YouTube. Okay. And. Um, We've been telling about the great um, the ice ink. I want to yeah, make sure I, I say it right. By yeah. Seth After, and it's an ice, and it's a uh, translucent effect glaze. But y'all, wait till you see him make his magic. Yo yo yo. <laughs> uh, um, I, I'm gonna just uh, let you know that it's now 10:30. Oh. Yeah, and 10.30 is when I have to shift gears and go to a different booth. Oh, we so, gotta come back to Seth. Uh, I'm gonna do something special, and I'm gonna just power through. Okay. And oh, thank I don't you. know if I get in trouble, but, so oh let me show you, goodness. just really quick. Not me, I'm, I'm like... He, he wants me I'm to stay. Good. Oh, he's British, he's good. I would, exactly. go, I would jump in and do it, but it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be good. Not gonna so be the same. This is one of the, oh no. <laughs> so okay, I am going to just start really quickly with a layer, uh -huh. and I'm going to start with a layer of paint. This is not my product, but it's an Aladdin product. It's a it's called Nature Paint. It comes in these great pouches. The beauty of these pouches, people, is that you can get the very last drop out. Yes, it's amazing. Right, every last. And you don't waste drop. either. You don't and waste anything. And you can anything. even cut the pouch open <laughs> if <laughs> you need to. At, well, at yeah. the end. Yeah, <laughs> at yeah. the end, if you need to. So I'm just <laughs> going to spread out some of the paint. It's pretty quick dry paint. Um, and I need to catch it pretty fast because it's quick dry because yes. I want to make some marks in it. 
let me tell you ladies you do have to move a little fast with this you but do. let me tell you if you are a craft impatient as i am <laughs> you appreciate oh it. oh my god <laughs> yeah it's so quick this i'm gonna do the test this right here this is already dry wow. it's crazy how fast the products dry so if you like if you're a layer junkie like me oh yeah um it, it's all about the dry time so once that's on there, I can't stop scratching. <laughs> yes, I did learn to scratch method yesterday. Itch. Okay. So now I'm going to move on and I'm going to show you another product. This is a little bit wet, but it should dry in a minute. We're going to go and move to the pigments. The pigments are permanent base, uh, pigment basting. They're all surface, so they work on glass, metal, ceramic. We have some mugs over there, little cups, French little cups. They're petite because they're French. <laughs> those are with pigment designs, and they've been put oh, through wow. the dishwasher and totally great. Oh, I will definitely um, check them out after this. So um, these come with a brush. So if you want to be uh, somebody who like will draw or you want to make circles or you want to make lines, you can use the brush. I kind of just go for it and pour. <laughs> so and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take some of this color. You'll see how thick it is when I when I try to pour it. Oh wow. You can see it's quite mm -hmm. thick. It's going to take a little bit cuz a little goes a long way. These are small bottles, but they last a long time. And I'm going to give it a little spritz just so they'll move around. And I'm going to take a palette knife and I'm going to begin to spread. And you'll see the color shift. You'll oh, see wow. how it picks up the texture from the scratches. Mhm. Mm um, and also, if I if I leave it particularly where the white is, you're gonna see I'm gonna be able to shade the white. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, Hello. I'm doing a mini version of what we did in class. <laughs> it's so cool to get to see the end. It'll be familiar to you. And I'm gonna never stop there, so I'm gonna add a few more colors. So I'm gonna go in again, and I'm gonna do a little bit of the pour. And again, how thick it is. That's thick, right? Yeah, and y'all see how quick he's doing this, ladies? This is drying in between. It is, it dries really, really fast. Yeah. Give it a little spritz. <clears throat> Which is fantastic. And then spread. And look how beautiful that color is. Oh my God. I love those look three colors that. together. <laughs> right? Yeah, they're gorgeous, right? It's a good combo. Yeah. There's 18 colors in the range, and they fall into three categories. There's a vintage. There's these really bright jewel tones, and there's metallics. Uh-oh. Metallics. On so watch it. out. And they are not expensive Whoops. either. Mm -hmm. Not uh, at all. Three dollars three dollars and ninety cents. Yeah, three dollars uh, ninety cents. Um, not expensive. Do I have at a metallic here? I thought I might have had a silver. Point two. Oh, there you go. So let's see what happens with the silver. Yay! Metallic. Put a little bit of silver. Ooh, that's beautiful. Yes, it is. I am not going to water that down though. Yeah. I'm just going to add that beautiful sheen to it. Oh, look at that! Wow! Oh wow! You can even see the sheen coming through the camera. Yeah, so when you when you shift it like that, you see how it catches yeah. the light. Yeah. So that's going to show through no matter what I do. So I'm, normally I would spend another hour and a half on this with that <laughs> with that layer, but we're going to move fast. We're going to go to the ice. The ice is a new product that I'm most excited about. Okay. It's a, yeah, a tra it's a gel. Oh, I'm so excited. It's pretty about amazing, that. isn't it? Cool. <laughs> it's amazing. You can do a lot of things with it, but it's a, a it's a gel formulation, an ink based gel, and you can use it as a glaze. It'll seal your work. You can create texture effects. You can heat it and have it bubble. Um, it's just really cool. But I want to show you a really important property off that, so that when you look at the colors here, you'll see that's true color. But when you spread them, the color shifts, mm -hmm. and that's the key. So when you take this one, which is my favorite color called Whiskey Frost, and you squeeze it out, it looks like sort of a rich caramel. Mm -hmm. But when you begin to spread it, that's where the magic really happens. You get this gorgeousness. Mm. Oh, wow. Color like that. I can keep it smooth. I can keep it textural. I can scratch through it. I can put it through a stencil, as you can see here. These are all done through a stencil. Um, when you put it over your art, because it's translucent, it gives a color shift. So you can see it first on the white. Let me put some of this here. And you can see that what it does. Oh, wow. It just brings out that other tones. It just makes it really, really rich. Yummy. It's a little sticky until it dries, so you just have to be careful, um, you know, not to get other papers in it. But that stickiness is great because you can make... Um, use inclusions so I could yeah. I could sprinkle um, little balls here I can sprinkle a little glitter probably I wouldn't do that but somebody could I could put yeah. a glossing powder in it and then heat it up 
Yes. You could do it over a, a photo and make it. Yeah. Photo. Yes, oh, so wow. this particular yes. one over a photo would be amazing. Yes. Who did the bubbling in the uh, workshop oh. yesterday? Yeah. So. so, Crystal is just this amazing artist. I've been showing everybody the picture of what you did. Oh, thank and you. and she, she's going to get in touch with me, so we're going to make something happen. Um, so, you can see with the darker color, it just brings the, the shift to it. And then, if I want maybe a little bit of brighter, let's bring some purple in. And I could, you know, bring that tone in. Oh wow! Um, I wow. Love Look when at that background. <laughs> this is pretty quick dry, but if it's a little wet when you do this, you will start getting mud. So it, it you don't have to wait long, as you saw. But if you leave it on thick, you definitely want to wait till it's full on dry. You can yes. again heat it with a heat tool, but do it softly. So if you don't want that the bubble, you you won't get it. Right. So you can just kind of see the background that we created. This has taken us maybe, maybe five Gorgeous. minutes or so. And it's um, almost dry because he did thin layers. Well, that yeah, that that right there is dry, right. yeah, like completely dry. Oh, that's gonna still be wet because mm -hmm. it's a little wow. thicker. But that that's just all dry. Um, and again, it's all surface, which is just very cool. Now, normally, what I would do is I would work over it. And actually, what I've been doing is I've been just doing a little uh, spray of um, one stencil. So let's just do a little bit of that. Um, oh, let's ladies. Get, let's just get this one. This is pomegranate. So this is my dye spray. Again, the cool thing about this, see you guys, thanks for coming by again, are um, uh, no clog. Yes, no really cool. clog, dye spray, and it dries so fast. So crazy fast. Let's put it this way. I sprayed it and tried to wipe it, and it was dry already. Yeah. So you can, oh, oh, see, it was. I didn't wait long enough with the thick part, so I did pull that up. That's going to be fine. Yeah. That's actually a cool Just effect. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Now let's get in there and do what right. we really like to do. There's no so, mistakes in crafting. And so then you can, oh, how nice is look that? So then yeah. it creates blendability yes. because of that product being there. Correct. So nice. it's on the ice, so it's not going to dry instantly. So oh, let's that's just say, the key. Oh, my God. I don't yeah. like that square. Uh -huh. Let me go in actually with a paper towel rather than a baby wipe. I can begin to move that around and blend that in. Yeah. And get rid of this, the squareness of it. Um, and just blot it around and begin to really get some really beautiful mixed media stuff. Yeah, we on. know the key. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that blending will take that out. If that were on the cardstock, the pure cardstock, I don't want to spray you guys. Let's just do that. Now let's just count down from like, I don't know, eight. This is already dry. Right. Yeah. I mean, what was that? Three? Right. Yeah. This, look, I mean, this is all dry. Well, she, she I had it yesterday, on dry. And I then she took on. the napkin and wiped it. And, and it like, didn't there go anywhere. There's nothing yeah, so there. this is still sticky. So remember I said about the stickiness. Yeah. You have to be yes. really careful. The inclusions work great, but if you don't want something um, in there, you just have to be cautious until the ice dries. Yes. When the ice is on thick, it takes a while. Let's add some of this color. This is sort of a beautiful color. It's a little bit of contrast. And now, let's just say, um, <laughs> I want to get rid of some of that. I can just take the paper and ink with the brush and sort of blend it and move it around. Yep. Is it dry? It's dry. Yeah, yeah. nice. Awesome. Thank you, guys. We'll talk soon. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. You. All right. See you guys. Bye. So this is going to take a little while to dry. Yes. Um, so um, you just have to be careful about it. I'm going to give, it, give this to you guys. Oh. oh. To take away with you. You're so sweet. Um, but of course, I still got to work on it a little bit. <laughs> so I do have to say what a great crafter and a great person for doing this and shouting out to his Facebook group. Yeah. If you Anybody who's not on it, please join us. Seth After Creative Community. You know, okay. it does have Seth Apter's name in there, but it's really all about the community. People are sharing, they're caring, they're supportive. Everybody's giving wonderful uh, uh, sort of advice and direction and, and support and um, asking questions and giving information. It's, it's pretty amazing. It is. I mean, it really is. I just joined, what, last week, and of course, Shauna um, is the one that uh, sent me over there, so. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Shout out to you again. One, one more time. So let me just sign yeah, up. Yeah, I was going to say, what you 
All right. I thank you guys so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you all for taking the time to watch. No, thank you for taking the time to stay. Oh, all right. Oh, please do. Yeah. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to show you all the great new products by Seth After. And they are, if you're looking for them, they're with iZinc. And here are the color swatches, the 18 colors. Yeah. Wow. And I love, love the colors. Especially when you get down to browns, because you know I like dark colors. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh. So these are the uh, pigment that he was talking about. These are, this is mimosa, and this is yummy. <laughs> hey, Carla. So these are the colors that he has in the pigment, and they come with a brush, but as you saw, he likes pouring them. And then they also have a little bottle that you spray bottle, which is so cute. <laughs> oh, look at that! Look at that pink peach color. I know oh those colors gosh. are yummy. So I'm gonna go over and look at the cups that they put on there. He said they were British, <laughs> but this is what he was talking about with the cups that they use the pigment on, and that they've sent them through the washer, and they have not at all. Look at that. And you and can they, feel that. Yeah, the, and you can know. feel that they're there, but none of it's come off. Talisa, I need those sprays and inks. <laughs> of course. I know. Oh my God, Talisa, let me tell you. I am not lying. I sprayed the ink. It was dry before I put my hand down. <laughs> so this piece, um, I made this piece for the show. There's oh, no, wow. There's, there's no paint on this. All the background here is made with a pigment ink. So wow. It's just dropped on, uh, spritz with water, and then spread. And then you can also see it's. This is what? It, this is uh, uh, watercolor paper. I'm trying to remember the weight. It's a pretty heavy one. Wow. Maybe. Yeah. So it, it took forever and a day, mind you. But um, <laughs> all the stamping was done. All these that you see here, that was done with the spray inks, the dye inks. And then you can, if you look closely, you see some of the sprays. Because I just want to spritz, spritz, spritz. Yeah. It. But see? it's all. The, it's just 100% pigment ink. See, and spread out. Look, and you're trying to. Amazing. I know, and everybody's trying to get that that droplet design and oh, stuff. Yeah. And these sprays will give it to you so without easy. messing up the rest of your project. Yeah, like that right there. Yes. It's that segment right there. It's it's pretty cool. Can you see that? And so what is what this is, is this? This is washi tape. Is that? Oh, that's yeah, washi I, tape. Um, I collage with washi tape all the time. Yeah. One of the tricks of washi tape because washi tape is removable. Yeah. Is I just use a glue stick. Oh. And I glue it down with a glue stick. It's, okay. it's, it's the right size, it's easy, and it sticks. It doesn't always stick, like you can see a little bit down there, but it really helps a lot. Right. Wow. And I tear it up. It's, I don't just take it off the sheet. So, like, if you look at I'm going to try to find little bits and pieces. Like, there's little bits and pieces of washi tape everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Just torn up and overlaid. And Here? Yep. Yeah, there's wow. a piece. Yeah, that's washi tape. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's washi cool, tape. Right? And then this, is, is, this so is actually, cool. um, I have some washi paper. Yeah. So that's uh, like a washi paper. Huh. Um, so yeah, it's just it's cool stuff. That is freaking cool. I just I wish I could just like hang out with you. <laughs> I know. Oh, I did. yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If okay, let alive, me turn. Yeah, we're still alive. Okay, thank you guys so much. Thank you Hope so you much. Again. Thank you, and that's the wonderful Seth after <laughs> once again, and we are going to go to dark room do well i'm gonna stop this live and we're gonna go try to do uh tim okay and stamperia and probably american crafts so give us about 10 minutes keep your notifications on and we'll be back this is this one is crafter at creativation bye